everybody. Thank you so much for starting to make your video responses to my uh, make a quote video. That's very exciting. I woke up this morning, I think there was five or six there. So I'm looking forward to, as the day progresses and as you're all watching, to hearing your videos because it only takes a second, like some of them only go for, you know, 20 seconds. So I'd really love to hear that quote that plays around in your head. Um, I added one on later on saying, if you can't say something nice, don't say anything at all. Because my grandmother used to say that to me. I remember that and my mother as well. And you know what? It's really, really, really true. And why bother saying something that's not nice? You know, like sometimes you're out and you go, oh my God, your husband, look at that top on that person or look at that hairdo or whatever. Some disparaging remark about someone you don't even know. What is the point? Where's that energy going? I think for the next week, we should all try to, for, for, as part of our 100 day challenge, or maybe for the next 100 days, see if you can go without making any icky comments about anyone. And I know the thoughts are going to come into your head, but um, see if you can not have them. And that also means, I'm back from answering the phone, that also means um, not spreading rumours, not repeating secrets that someone's told you in confidence. Um, you know when you are, are told something about someone that's quite juicy and you think, oh, who can I tell? And I don't know if you've had this experience, but I certainly have, where I've passed something on and then I've thought, oh, shit, I shouldn't have said that. That wasn't very nice. I really do struggle with feeling awful. So I, I have been doing that for, I don't know, about six months to a year where I have really thought about what I'm saying and not passing on that bad energy and it feels much better. You know, someone might be talking about someone, you think, oh, I know something about them, and you just stop, and you don't repeat it, and you don't say it, and your energy is left feeling much better. Um, what I do is, when I'm thinking like that, I think, would I, how will that feel if I pass that on? And if you know, you know that sinking sort of feeling, it's kind of like that moral code I was talking about the other day. We know what's right, and we know what's wrong. And when you do the wrong thing, you get a sinking, awful feeling, and... So I think it applies to your speech as well and you, what, what you say about other people. So um, this was all provoked because I got a little comment on one of my videos yesterday where a guy said, have you got nothing better to do than make videos? And that other girl as well, which was Zoe, my daughter. And I thought, so I wrote back and I said, well, you watched it, which, which he did. And then I went to his page to see who it was. And of course it was someone anonymous who doesn't make videos. And, uh, but what really disappointed me, I have to say, was that person was Australian and that annoyed me. It did, it made me feel sad that, you know, that someone had intruded on our 100 day challenge because, you know, really we are very sheltered in a very lovely group here. When you go out onto YouTube and look at some of those other videos and you see some of the hideous things people write to people, I just don't, I don't know, how do they do that? How does someone write something awful underneath someone's video? I just couldn't do it. I'd rather say nothing at all, which is the point of my whole quote. Um, so maybe if that person watches this video, they will uh, realise that they have provoked a, a storm of niceness around the world because I'm really hoping that you'll all become mindful about things like that. And I'm sure, being in the 100 Day Challenge, that you are. Um, mindful of things like that, not criticizing people you don't know, not spreading gossip, not telling secrets, all that sort of thing. It's so important and it's important for how you feel. You don't want to be known for being that person who tells all the crap about everyone else because you know those people. I've got a, a person who I know quite well and she actually used to be a friend but I'm not so excited by her anymore because every time I saw her she would always have something bad to say even about people who she was very close to. And then when you hear that, you think, hmm, I wonder if they're saying that about me or what are they saying about me? So I've kind of backed off a little bit from that energy because I don't want that around me. Um, I'm, you know, I'm fine to see that person out and about and say hi and all that, but I really have backed off my um, friendship because that's not what I want in my life and it's not the sort of person I want to be surrounded by. I want to be surrounded by people who are supportive, people who are, who are happy for you when you're there and when you're not, not someone who, who talks about you behind your back. So um, there we go. I would love everyone to be really mindful for the next 100 days so that it becomes a habit to, uh, to be kind and to be nice and to be generous with your thoughts, not, not awful. 
there we are that is my day 49 being nice so have a happy day everyone and make, make a little quote for me because I'm really looking forward to it and I would also like to know your opinion on this you know is it hard for you to um to do this are you someone who or even maybe in the past you have gossiped or you have done this or that um do you do, have you found that you feel better not doing it because I definitely feel better not passing stuff on and not being awful so there you go have a great day everybody I look forward to your comments and I love hearing from you all thanks bye